Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today, a quick and easy, dumbed down version of the nitrogen cycle. Grab a healthy snack and beverage, put on your thinking caps, and stand by. Alright fishy folks, today we're going to talk about the nitrogen cycle, but before we do that, if you could just do me a ginormous favor, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And if you think you have, just go down and double check right now, because I've had a couple people recently that said, Mike, I thought I would subscribe, but I'm not. Thank you for reminding me. So, just double check, and if you're not, go ahead, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. After you subscribe, just, you know, hit that bell so you get all the notifications. You know if I go live you know if I release a new video, all right? And then, go ahead and check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com, where mutt guppies are on sale for a limited time. Buy five, get one free. So you buy five, you get six. No additional charge. All right, today's video is gonna be about the nitrogen cycle, and it comes to me, or comes to you, from a subscriber request. Uh, there's a new, a newer group on, on Facebook that I'm involved with called Cookies Fish Room. And one of my subscribers asked a question. I forget what the question was, but I asked her if she understands the, the nitrogen cycle. Her name is Beck. She's from Australia. And she um, said, I think so. And so then she asked if I would do a, a video on the nitrogen cycle. And I said, sure. So... Here it is. Now I know there's a million videos on Facebook on the nitrogen cycle. Some of them are good, some of them are too scientific, some of them really suck. I hope this gives you some knowledge and humor, because that's my shtick. But this is gonna be a very dumbed down version of it because I am just a dumb guy with a camera with a few fish tanks and a small YouTube channel. So hopefully you guys learn something, you might laugh a little bit, and uh, you know, everything is good. So what is the nitrogen cycle? Well, the nitrogen cycle is when your fish tank, which as you know is a little ecosystem, can convert the waste that's produced by your fish, which is ammonia, into nitrite and then nitrate within 24 hours. So when someone says, is your fish tank cycled, you would have a reading of zero ammonia, zero nitrite, and some nitrate. We'll talk about nitrates in a little while, but. When I say some 10 parts per million or more, and your tank is probably cycled. Now, <clears throat> how do you cycle a tank is a whole nother video. There's a couple different methods. Um, I'm not really gonna go over those in detail. I have a video on a fishing cycle. I have a video on an instant cycle. Um, I'll put links down below, plus cards for you to click if you want. But how you cycle a tank isn't as important as it's actually cycled and, and what happens when it's cycled. So let's go over that. Again, pretty basic. Your fish produce waste, which is ammonia, pee and poop. <laughs> and that pee and poop, which creates ammonia, is toxic to the fish, okay? Even ammonia in low levels, 0.25 parts per million or above, toxic to fish, you'll start to see some red gills. 0.5 parts per million, you'll start to see some burning gills. Your fish will probably start to die, okay? The higher the ammonia, obviously, the more toxic it is to the fish. So naturally occurring beneficial bacteria in your water, take that ammonia and convert it into nitrite. Now, nitrite is also toxic to fish in low levels. A different beneficial bacteria now, also naturally occurring, takes the nitrite and converts it to nitrate. Now, you might be saying to yourself, but, but Mike, is there a third beneficial bacteria? No, there isn't. The way we get rid of nitrate is, anyone, anyone? That's right, water changes. That's why we change water, to get rid of nitrate, okay? So, real simple. Your fish produce waste, ammonia, Beneficial bacteria convert that into nitrite. A different beneficial bacteria convert that into nitrate. Boom, we change water, okay? Now, those beneficial bacteria have names, but I'm just a dumb guy with a camera. I don't know what they are. Even if I did, I probably couldn't pronounce them. So if you really wanna know, look it up on Google, okay? So when someone says, is your tank cycled? Zero ammonia, zero nitrite, and some nitrate. Boom, your tank is cycled. But what happens in that process, okay? So 
The beneficial bacteria col colony is naturally occurring in your fish tanks. So when you start a brand new fish tank, the colonies are very, very tiny, okay? How do you get them to grow? They need a food source. They need that ammonia to start, okay? So if you have a brand new fish tank and you add fish, your fish are gonna produce more ammonia than the nitrogen cycle can handle, and you're gonna have what's called an ammonia spike. There's gonna be ammonia in your tank and that's bad, okay? So you have to cycle your tank first. Again, there's a couple different ways you can do a fish and cycle, but there's a way you have to do it. Follow my directions, you'll be fine. So, let's say you start the cycle, okay? And that doesn't mean you buy a fish tank, you go get the filter, you hook it up, you put all the media in there and start it, you wait a week and you come back and your tank is cycled. No, that does absolutely nothing without an ammonia source, okay? So if you go to PetSmart or Petco or, or a, another big box store or even a local fish store and they say, buy your tank, buy your filter, put water in it, let it run for a week and come back and we'll test your water, it'll be fine, that's BS, okay? Without an ammonia source, there's no way to start the cycle. There's no way for your tank to cycle. So let's say you buy your fish tank, you buy your filter, you buy bacteria in a bottle, or you buy fish, I don't really care. You put a couple fish in your tank and now you want, you want to know what's happening with the cycle, okay? First things first, your fish are going to start to produce ammonia. So you will see an ammonia reading when you test your water. After you see an ammonia reading, it might go down, it'll start to go down and may even go to zero, and then you'll start to see a nitrite reading. Okay, and this may take time. How long does it take to cycle a fish tank? It takes as long as it takes. There is no set time frame, okay? So you'll see ammonia, then the ammonia starts to go down, nitrate will start to come up, then ammonia will be zero, and nitrites will start to come down, and you'll start to see some nitrates. Your tank isn't cycled yet. When you have zero ammonia, zero nitrite, and nitrates that are all consistent for a couple days, your tank is now cycled. It is only cycled as much as that beneficial bacteria column can convert ammonia into nitrate in 24 hours. So let's just say you're adding, let's say you're doing a fishless cycle where you add ammonia every day or every other day and the beneficial bacteria convert that ammonia, let's just say five parts per million, into nitrite and then into nitrate. And so you, you're doing that now for say six weeks. And after six weeks, you've got a week of adding the ammonia every other day and your readings are consistently zero. Zero, zero, 20 say. That means your tank is cycled. Now, you can put in enough fish that has the same bio load as whatever the ammonia that you were adding creates. So if you're adding enough ammonia to make your water five parts per million, you could only add enough fish that produce that same amount of waste. All right, does that make sense? I hope so. If you add more, the bacteria will eventually catch up. It might take a couple days. The theory is the beneficial bacteria double in size every 24 hours or as much as the food source allows. So if you put, let's say five parts per million ammonia is 20 guppies. I don't really know, that's just a made up number, okay? You put 20 guppies in a tank, your tank is cycled. You put 30 guppies in a tank, in theory, it's gonna take a couple days for that beneficial bacteria colony to catch up and convert the ammonia to nitrite, and then another couple days for that bacteria colony to convert the nitrite to nitrate. Clear as mud, right? I hope so. Now, <clears throat> the nitrogen cycle is the most important thing when it comes to keeping fish, all right? Once you know the nitrogen cycle and understand it, you can Diagnose many problems in your fish tank. My fish are acting, aren't acting right. I check my water, I have high nitrites. Why do I have high nitrites but not high ammonia? What's causing the nitrite spike? Part of your bacteria colony has either died or is stressed out because there's too much. Where does that come from? Usually rotting food. If you're overfeeding, typically you're gonna have high nitrites, okay? How about an ammonia spike? 
I have an ammonia spike. What happened? I'm missing a fish. It's probably dead in the tank, rotting somewhere, stuck to the filter, in the filter, whatever. All right, now, this beneficial bacteria that I'm talking about is naturally occurring. You don't need any beneficial bacteria in a bottle. I've never really liked them. I've never really used them, um, except when I first started my fish room, and I'm not really sure it worked. I'm fine. See, I got to sure I'm fine. Anyway, <clears throat> the beneficial bacteria in your tank, while a very minuscule amount do live in the water column, virtually none live in the water column, okay? Most live in the filter media, the biological filter media. There's some that live on the surface of the tank. There's some that live on the direct decorations. That's decorations. Some live on the plants and in the substrate. More live in the substrate than anywhere else other than the filter media because substrate is typically a little porous, so there's a lot of surface area for them to live. Now, sub, uh, uh, filter media like lava rock or any of the porous, you know, little cylinders that come with, with um, filters nowadays, all that is surface area, and that's where all the little nooks and crannies are where the beneficial bacteria live. Let's talk about filters for a second in relationship to the cycle. So if you have a filter that says it's rated for up to a 40 gallon tank and you have a 20 gallon tank, um, the beneficial bacteria will only multiply big enough as the food source allows it to, to multiply. So if you have enough fish producing waste for say five parts per million, um, and you have beneficial bacteria, or you have filter media that will allow for 10 parts per million, a surface area that has a colony that is big enough to store a colony that will convert 10 parts per million in 24 hours. That doesn't mean that you could convert 10 parts per million ammonia into nitrite, okay? If your ammonia source, which is your fish waste, is producing, say, five parts per million a day, then your beneficial bacteria colony only grows to that size. If you were to add 10 more fish, you might get a spike in ammonia. You may have to do some stuff until the beneficial bacteria catches up, okay? Now, if you have 20 fish in a fish tank and you add two more fish, I'm not talking about Oscars or, or ginormous fish that poop a lot. Talk about you have 20 guppies and you add, say, two more guppies, your cycle probably won't even hiccup. You probably wouldn't even be to, to tell. But if you have 20 guppies and you add 20 more guppies, yes, your beneficial bacteria will probably take a hit and take some time to catch up. How much time? As long as it takes. I, I can't get that through your head, I think. Now, I've been rambling for about 15 minutes at least, and um, I hope you get it. It's not that difficult. I, I'm gonna go over it one more time, okay? Your fish produce waste, which is ammonia. Beneficial bacteria convert that ammonia into nitrite. A different beneficial bacteria convert that nitrite into nitrate. We change water to get rid of nitrate, okay? Pretty simple, right? Any questions, let me, do, let me know down in the comments below and stay tuned for a lot of bloopers and I hope you guys liked it. Thanks. You can do a fishless cycle where you have to have an ammonia sauce. All right, fishy folks, before I go ahead and get started about talking about, about talking about is dumb. Well, most people change X amount of mortar. That's water, not mortar. So when should you change water? Now I've done a video on this. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Alexa is a crackhead. I, I don't know. Now I, I, I this is dumb. I'm gonna add this. I'm gonna cut the, the video. Yeah, that's what I do. So now I gotta close, right? Let's do a closing. The nitrogen cycle, as your your, oh, I gotta explain that too. Yeah, let's let's just start over. And so I'm gonna explain it as easily as I can, because I'm just a handsome, dumb guy with a camera. I don't pretend to be smart. I don't pretend to know everything. I just have a fish room with a few tanks, a couple subscribers on Facebook. 
I mean on YouTube. Yeah. <sighs> Alright, fishy folks, welcome back. Before convert ammonia to nitrite. Nit a different Nitrate in low levels, harmless to fish, but in higher levels, I got a niche. Tank? That's dumb. How come I can't explain this? It's because I'm an idiot. God damn, I'm gonna start over for like the 19th. A separate, another beneficial bacteria converts a nitrite into nitrate. Now, these two beneficial bacteria have names. Why is it not focusing? What the hell? It's not focused. We gotta start over. 